So the next logical step in our program would be to choose. We were checking, now we are choosing because we know what type of tabs we want to use. Choice of tab is very important because you will have a variety of tabs, but which one do you want? Well, one general rule is the tab always needs to be smaller than the damage. If it's small damage, bigger damage, stay away from the high spots and glue your tab in the low spot to correct the metal and there is one simple reason. If you want the metal to move back to its original shape, the metal needs to be able to move. If you over glue the whole part on a bigger tab, like a centipede, it's possible. But you want to move a big part, use a big tab. You want to move smaller damage, like we're going to start here. You use smaller tabs exactly where they need to be to correct the damage that you're correcting. We'll be explaining why, but every dent has a high spot and a low spot when you start. It's never only flat with a dent. You want to correct lows, but you want to knock down highs. So at the same time you've chosen your tab, you need to make a choice in what kind of lifter you want to use, lifting the dents. Our K-beam you can use in conjunction anywhere on the car, anywhere you want, as a double action tool, pulling up a centipede, slapping down a crown. A little bit smaller single action lifter is our K-bar. When you're out of reach with one of the two feet on the beam, you can use the K-bar and put the foot anywhere you like and lift the dent. The next tool to lift dents is the slide hammer. Near edges, rails, if you can't place the feet on one of the lifters, use a slide hammer to pull your tabs. But in this particular dent, we're going to use smaller tabs instead of big tabs because it's smaller damage. We're going to use one of these tabs in conjunction with our robo lifter that you can place anywhere you want because of its versatility. You can pull rails, you can pull corners, you can pull on doors, anywhere you like in conjunction with the tab of your choice. So the choice of lifter is being made. The next logical choice you have to make afterwards is what are you using to knock down your high spots. Well again, you have small high spots from small tabs, but you have bigger high spots and you have big highs, crowns, highs, however you want to call them, to knock down with bigger tools. So for the smaller highs, after lifting with a small tab, we use our knockdowns, root beer, ice material, fire material, and metal knockdowns. Depends on what type of steel you're working on. Going bigger, we use our blending hammer with our square, our round tip, nicely polished. If the high spots are higher than what you would knock down with your knockdowns. Going from this higher, we have our slappers in two qualities. We have the blue one, very hard, spreading out a lot of force. And this is the way you would use them. If you lift a big dent and there's a big high spot or a big crown, you would massage that by using and protecting your metal with the sloppy and knock down that big high spot and make the metal move in the right direction. The red one is more forgiving, maybe the one you should start with, and adapts to round surfaces, whatever you want to. But you're saving your metal from the impact of your body hammer. One very nice, interesting tool we have today is our black swan. Our black swan is a guided knockdown. How does it work? Instead of holding a knockdown and needing some technique to stabilize the knockdown when you start using knockdowns, this tool already does half of your work. Even on this door, you can see by placing it on the high spot, it takes away half of the effort by holding it exactly 90 degrees on the high spot that you want to knock, giving you a lot of 
visual, looking at the light, reading the dent, and holding this steady. The foot allows you to press or hold the metal from vibrating violently while you hit with a hammer. So this tool has a lot of advantages to knock down those high spots. We have a lot of different things that we need to choose to repair this dent. But one of the most important ones is choosing the right glue. We got our green glue. 80% of the time you use the green glue. From small dents to bigger dents, double action, meaning with our K-beam you can glue your tabs on and slap next to it, move the highs at the same time that you're pulling them. Our white Camoto glue is a glue that you would use almost only big smashes, big repairs, big centipedes, big super tabs. And our tab weld, our grey glue, is a glue that we recommend to use if you can't control the temperature and the heat of the surrounding air goes over 90, 90 Fahrenheit or 30, 35 degrees Celsius. That meaning this glue is a great glue in hot temperatures. So green, white and grey are three glues that we highly recommend to do our GPR or glue pulls repair.